murder of bird. I mean, yeah. Well, just let me tell the story, okay? All right. It was the night before Christmas. When all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. I'm stirring and I have a mouse. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. And hopefully St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Y-M-C-A. And Ma in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, the bell cow. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. I got the way back. I don't The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. <coughs> More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted, who called them by name? No basher, no dancer, no prancer, no vixen. On coming on, Cupid on, Dunder and Woodson, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. No dash away, dash away, dash away all. Oh, oh, oh. And stride me that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, <laughs> up to the house top, the horses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hook. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a pillar just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his pimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His broad little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke in it circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, 